Good morning, folks. Ron Ray here with Turning 65 Solutions. And for this morning's video, we're going to answer a question that we get every single day here in our office multiple times. And that question is, do I need referrals to see a specialist with Medicare? And there's uh, two answers to that question. And it depends on what side of the Medicare spectrum you're on. So there, if you'll remember, there's two ways to obtain your Medicare services through Original Medicare or through Medicare Advantage. Now remember, Original Medicare is where you keep Original Medicare A and B, and then you add in a Medicare supplement like a Plan G or a Plan N, uh, or any of the plan Medicare supplement plans are available. And that Medicare supplement plan pays all or some of your out-of-pocket associated with Medicare A and B. Medicare Advantage, on the other hand, the other side, this is where you indicate to the government that you would like for them to contract you out to a private insurance company. So these, this is also called Medicare Part C, and these are the HMOs and the PPOs. So what they do is they take A and B and usually Part D, the drug portion, and they combine those into one plan and administer your health care for you, but they take Medicare out of the picture for that calendar year. Now remember, you don't lose Medicare, you're still in the system, but for that calendar year, you have been contracted out to the insurance company and it's their responsibility to take care of your health care. So the first thing we have to answer is what side of the road are you on? Are you on original Medicare or do you have Medicare Advantage? Now when it comes to referrals, we'll talk about original Medicare first. With original Medicare, you do not need a referral to see anybody. You just need to pick up the phone, make an appointment, and go see the doctor that you choose, as long as they accept original Medicare. That's the only requirement. You do not need referrals. Okay, very simple answer. The answer is no, as long as that doctor accepts original Medicare, which is still about 96% of all doctors, you can go see them without a referral. That's on the original Medicare side. On the Medicare Advantage side, now we have to answer a couple more questions. Number one, do you have an HMO or a PPO? Okay, with an HMO, you almost always have to have a referral to go see anybody who is not your primary care physician, your PCP. Okay, your PCP will usually be the one that issues the referral to the specialist or to the uh, surgical center or to the uh, MRI center, the imagery place or, or the oncology center your PCP will be making those referrals. Oncology, it might be your, your oncologist that makes that referral to an infusion center. There's some exceptions to that rule. The point is, with an HMO, it's a safe bet that you always need a referral. Now, I wanna give you a caution here. The doctor that you're being referred to, the specialist, Simply because you are referred to them doesn't mean that they have to accept your HMO insurance. Okay? I want to repeat that. Just because you got a referral from your PCP to go see a cardiologist down the street doesn't mean that that cardiologist is going to accept your HMO. You still have to ask that question. Okay? It's very important. A lot of people get surprised when they get a referral from their PCP to go see a specialist and they make the appointment and show up at the specialist office just to find out that that specialist doesn't accept their HMO. Okay, so there's two questions you have to ask. Do I have an HMO? If you do, you have to have a referral. The next question is very important. Does that specialist accept my HMO? Okay. Now, if you have a PPO, you probably, in most cases, 99% of the time, do not need a referral to see a specialist. Some small exceptions, rare exceptions, might be some um, employer-sponsored Medicare Advantage plan PPOs. I have seen a couple of cases in my career where those require referrals. They're usually government-sponsored plans at the state level that I've seen a couple of times, especially here in the state of Texas where we generally operate. But in 99.9% .9 of the case, for everybody else on a Medicare Advantage PPO, you do not need a referral. Now, there's a couple other types of uh, Medicare Advantage plans that work generally like a PPO. They're not network plans. The first one would be a private fee-for-service, PFFS. You would not need a referral for that one either. The other one would be a medical savings account, an MSA plan. 
That's also a, a type of a Medicare Advantage plan that does not have a network, so you would not need a referral for that one. Those are more rare. We don't deal with those uh, as much, especially in this area where we're at. Uh, however, if you have a PPO, it's the most common next to an HMO, you do not need a referral in almost all cases. Now again, just because you're going to a specialist doesn't mean that they're going to accept your um, Medicare Advantage PPO. You have to check. Okay, so that's that's the answers to the questions. Again, just to recap, if you have Medicare, if you have original Medicare, you don't need a referral. If you have Medicare Advantage HMO, you do need a referral. If you have Medicare Advantage PPO, you don't need a referral. The only caution is be sure and check and make sure that specialist accepts your Medicare Advantage plan before you show up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the information. If you did, give us a thumbs up on the video down below. That helps Medicare, uh, helps YouTube uh, get this video out to other people or searching for the same information that you were. Uh, also subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when we post another helpful video. I'm going to put a link to our webpage that you see here on your screen uh, that talks about in a little bit more detail, uh, do I need referrals with Medicare? I'm going to put a link to this uh, web page down in the video description below. So until the next video, we hope you have a great day. Thanks, folks. Bye.